All right, welcome back to White House Farm. What we're doing today, we're gonna to be installing some trailer guides on our trailer here for our boat. And we got them in, so we'll go ahead and open them up. And the reason we're doing this is where we normally go, it's, they're, they're a loading dock there, uh, the boat ramp to get in the water it has a dip that goes off and it's definitely not level and the boats constantly going back and forth and what happens is up front here because it's flying all over the place it really mars up the boat up front through here because it's going back and forth from the waves and also being down in the water on an angle because instead of being flat like this it's like this so if we can get this so the boat can come on and be guided on perfectly on here we won't have to worry about anything happening and the last thing you want to do is have the metal chunks here if it comes off to the side scrape your bow or anything like that so let's go ahead and open them up and get our new trailer guides on so we got the instruction manual here which is basically nothing doesn't tell you anything other than shows you a pic couple pictures and tells you your uh, your tools and your equipment that it comes with. And I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description for these. Nice and padded. That way it don't scratch up your boat. All right, so we're gonna place ours back here. Probably close to this, towards the end. So you, if you have the straight bar here and you don't have a place to put this where it lines up, so you can actually run your clamps to hold this together. A couple different options. You can either weld it on or you can drill holes and run bolts through here to hold this on there. Or you could do like what we're gonna do and you can cut a piece of wood to go underneath here. This is roughly about three inches. We're gonna cut a six inch piece of wood and we're gonna drill holes through it and then we're gonna secure it that way. So that way the wood's coming down through here and it's gonna sandwich that in between. And make sure you use pressure treated wood. That way it lasts you. All right, so we're gonna measure out six inches. And we'll cut that. All right, so now we got our two blocks of wood cut and we got an inch off each side. Now we'll go ahead and mark our drill holes. So we got our four drill holes and we'll do the same for the other side. All right, now let's drill them out. All right, I just wanna make sure everything fits like that. So 
that's where we're going to want it. And now you can see that that's going to hold that. Once again, make sure you're using pressure treat wood because this is going to be going in and out of the water. So now we can go ahead and secure our nuts and washers down on there. And make sure your whole side is out. Set this in there. All right, so now that we got this on there, so we can still slide it in and out. It's a little tight, but we can still move it. Let's go ahead and install our upper brackets here. So there's two different holes, so you could switch your sizes where it needs to be on your boat. We're gonna keep ours in the lower one right now and check that. We're gonna slide that through and put the other one on here. And then we got our washer lock washer and nut. All right, so we'll go ahead and tighten that on there. So you want this side toward the outside there. And when you get that to where you want it, you can go ahead and screw them in. You want it right in the middle, right at 10. All right, so that's good right there, and I got a little bit of play behind there. All right, these do come with bolts. Uh, depending on what size boat you have and trailer, all that stuff, it's all gonna depend on how you go ahead and fabricate and get this all together. But now we need to go ahead and get a, but now we need to go ahead and get a self tapper in here so this thing doesn't slide out. Go ahead and mark this. And now we can pull this out and we'll go ahead and drill a hole through there and run a self tapper down through it. Uh, the reason we can't do it under here, there's just not enough room. So I'll have to take this out, drill the hole and then put it in. Well, instead of pulling it, I forgot I had this handy dandy little attachment here. We'll go ahead and give that a try. And we got two inch self tappers, so that should bring it down into there nice to secure it. All right, so that is on there good. That ain't going anywhere. So this side's done. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side.
All right. So that is on there nice and secure. Awesome. Our new trailer guides are on. They're all fastened down and you can see how you can do them all types different ways to go ahead and fit your trailer. This is just how I did it, but give you a little idea and uh, hopefully help you out. So yeah, that's gonna be so much nicer. Now the boat won't be the whole back going back and forth and then hitting the metal underneath. And that's the last thing you want with your boat, getting it all scraped up or possibly even worse, get a hole in there. But, oh yeah, we are all set. All right, so we're all set. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description if you're looking to purchase some of these. And uh, hopefully they help you out and you have some ideas on how to hook them up uh, for your boat. So once again, we hope you like, enjoy, subscribe, and as usual, we'll see you on the next one. All right, bye guys. can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.